Hey guys, it's Charles with Premium B, and in this video, we're gonna look at 10 After Effects glitch plugins you should check out. So if you've seen some glitch effects on other videos and you aren't quite sure what glitch effect was used, hopefully you can discover what you're looking for on this list. All right, guys, I'm gonna have links for all the plugins that I mentioned on the Premium Beat blog post. Most of them are from aescripts.com, but a few are not, and some of them are even free. And at the end of this list, I'm gonna mention some other glitch freebies and tutorials that you guys are probably gonna find helpful as well. All right, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and jump into it. And the first plugin we're gonna look at is AE Pixel Sorter 2. This plugin does what its name implies and allows you to create pixel sorting effects on your footage. I use it all the time for quick glitch transitions, and it's pretty simple to use, with most of the effect being controlled by a single threshold setting. It's definitely one of the most popular glitch effects out there. And speaking of popular, the next plugin we're gonna take a look at is Data Mosh 2. This plugin is used for creating Data Mosh effects. This effect has become very popular in music videos, but most people don't know what the effect is called. It causes pixels of the video to melt or glitch together in a strangely organic way. We have an article on Premium B that dives deep into all the details of data moshing if you wanna know more about the process. The next plugin we're gonna take a look at is called Signal and it emulates the look of an analog television transmission. This gives your video a very 90s TV VHS look to it. The plugin has a ton of fine detail customization you can use to dial in the look you want. And it even has things like VHS tracking and a destruction button if you wanna get extra trippy. Next is Slit Scan, which creates some awesome time displacement effects. It essentially creates a digital version of Slit Scan photography. There are two different modes, Follow and Copy Paste, which creates a cool pixel stretching effect, similar to moving your hand across a scanner. You can also use it on photos for some awesome pixel effects. Next is Modulation, which creates a digital waveform effect on your footage. It reminds me a lot of a retro video transmission, and it's great for revealing images or combining with other effects like glows. And we actually have a full tutorial on using modulation on the Premium Beat channel if you wanna learn a lot of extra tricks for using the plugin. Next is a classic, but it's still widely used to this day, and that is Twitch from Video Copilot. This was probably a lot of people's first glitch plugin. It allows you to glitch out six different settings with your footage, such as blur, scale, and the most popular has to be slide which features a distinct RGB split effect. Fun fact, the Twitch plugin actually includes 10 glitch sound effects, all of which are burned into my brain, and you can still hear them all the time on TV. Next is Data Glitch 2, which creates a variety of digital glitch effects on your footage. It reminds me a lot of digital glitch effects you'd often see on mini DV tapes. The plugin features several different parameters you can adjust, and you can easily change the percentage of which glitches you want to appear giving you a lot of control. It's perfect for really scrambling up your footage. Next is a plugin called Bad TV, which creates all the stereotypical TV and monitor effects you'd want. Things like distortion, tape wrinkles, and scan lines. Obviously, it's great to use this in combination with other glitch effects, and it can save you a lot of time because it renders so much faster than the TV presets built into After Effects. Next is a free plugin, which is Displacer Pro from Plugin Everything. This plugin creates some stellar displacement effects, it's described as a juiced up version of the displacement effect built into After Effects, featuring scale and rotation effects, as well as chromatic aberration. It's super easy to create some trippy looks and it's perfect for combining with other plugins like Bad TV and Signal. Finally, we have another free plugin for Plugin Everything. If you guys know me, you know I've got to mention this one. That's Quick Chromatic Aberration 2. Again, dude, stop. But hear me out. Besides chromatic aberration effects, you can also use it for creating RGB split effects just by overcranking the position, rotation, and scale settings. Now it's worth mentioning that I actually usually say quick chromatic abrasion um, because that's just how I always read that word and a lot of people let me know that in the comments that it's aberration. And that's quick chromatic abrasion to abrasion, aberration. All right guys, as I mentioned earlier, here are some other glitch freebies and tutorials worth checking out. On Rocket Stock, you can grab 10 free glitch sound effects to help you add some sound design to your glitch visuals. And earlier this year, I did a tutorial for creating a video call lag glitch effect in After Effects. No plugins are needed, and it includes a free project file. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and let us know if there's any other plugin list you wanna see a video on, and I will catch you guys in the next one.